Welcome, we're here in sunny and humid Central Florida in Lake Placid, the Caladium capital of the world. And it's also the mural capital of Central Florida with nearly 50 murals. So today on The Family Does, we're going to do Lake Placid murals. Where are you guys at? <laughs> this is a mural of Dr. Melville Dewey. Uh, most people that are have a little bit of age to them and had to use the Dewey Decimal System will recognize his name because he was the inventor of that system. He um, also was the gentleman who changed the name of this town from Lake Stearns to Lake Placid because of the name of Lake Placid, New York. This mural is called Town of Murals, How It All Began and it's to honor Bob and Harriet Porter who founded the Lake Placid, Lake Placid Mural Society. And the Mural Society over the years has placed over 150 pieces of artwork in and throughout the town. This mural's about Captain T.W. Webb. He was the person responsible for bringing caladiums to Lake Placid, Florida, which is a huge, huge industry for here. He also sponsored Golden Glove tournaments and he had opened the town's first service station in 1924. This mural depicts the Lake Placid Country Fair. It's a two-day two -day fair that we hold every year in February. And in this mural, there is supposed to be someone that everybody will recognize. This guy looks like he's having a good time. And is that the king? getting ready to throw a ball with a dump tank. This is the R Citrus Heritage mural, and it depicts the importance of the citrus industry in Highlands County, which is a major industry through this part of the state. In this mural, we're looking for four oranges with sunglasses in the store. This mural is called Sandhill Crane's Dawn Patrol. It depicts the Sandhill Crane, which is prominent here in Central Florida. And actually they are raising their babies this time of year. This mural is depicting the clowns from Toby the Clown's Clown Museum. Yes, in Lake Placid, Florida, we do have a clown museum. We have more clowns per capita than any other city in the United States. A funny story when we first moved here not really knowing much about the Clown College, knowing it was here, but not much about it. I went into the bank one time here, local, a local bank, and I was standing at the counter doing my banking business, and in walked two or three clowns, and I thought, well, this is it. This is where I'm going to die. But in Lake Placid, Florida, that's perfectly acceptable. This mural is called Istapoga. It's depicting the largest lake we have right here in our general area, 30,000 acres. Istapoga means many men died here. This mural depicts the Tropical State Bank robbery. Back in the 30s, two people tried to rob the Tropical State Bank. This young boy ran, grabbed his father. His father alerted the town marshal, and the town marshal came out. And I believe he had to shoot one of the bank robbers, and they later captured both of them. This mural is called Layers of Time. It depicts 10,000 years ago when Mastodons roamed the area. There are Indian mounds in Lake Placid area. And then the final panel shows archeologists digging. This mural is called Birding. It's to bring attention to the fact that Highlands County is home to 300 different species of birds, with Florida having the third greatest number of birds species from any other state. This mural depicts the turpentine industry. In Florida, the turpentine industry was a big, big prop or a big, big process. They would cut little uh, notches in the bark of the pine trees and they would put a pot at the bottom and they would collect the sap and then they would haul it by mule to a processing plant to process it into turpentine.
This mural is called the Lost Bear Cub, and it represents the black bear population in Highlands County, Florida. It is also an audio mural, as you can hear. This is one of our favorite murals. It's called Prairie Dwellers. It shows the plethora of animals that dwell on the prairies near Lake Placid, Florida. The white-tailed deer, the wild hogs, gopher tortoises, turkeys, and even some burrowing owls. And here's the item you're supposed to look for in this mural, the one-inch spirit man. This mural depicts the caladium fields that are found out east of town. Caladium capital of the world is another name for Lake Placid. There's about 1,500 acres that grows in the muck bottom area that's just off the ridge. A little known thing, we used to live above this garage right there, the first three windows. There's probably actually many pictures of us with our face in the window as people are taking pictures of the mural. <laughs> Here's another one of our favorite murals. It's the Cracker Trail Cattle Drive. It represents the cattle drive that the Cracker Cowboys used to take across the center of the state to take their cattle to markets. All the brands you see on the back end of the cows are all brands from local ranchers. They still do that cattle drive every yes, year. Yes, they do. They do that cattle drive every year. Well, they don't drive cattle, but they ride their they horses. They ride their horses, symbolically. Just to give a scale of how big this mural is, There he is. This is my favorite trash can too. It used to make noise. And here we have the Lake Placid Monument called the Bench of Three Clowns. Lake Clowns. And that'll do it.